It's your boy Big Chew, the voice of the beat. You know what I want? Blaze up! Come on, Blaze! It's a beat for me. Wow, 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 wow
Princess Rose. Hey, boo. Hey, Shardy. Who else on here? China Doll, my fave. Hey, girl. Hey, Divine Empress. You glow, girl. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good Nikki, good morning. Who else on here? Hey, cousin. Hey, cousin. What's up? Checking in from um Facebook. What's up, cousin? Um, hey Nicole. Hey Gloria. Who else on here? Now I can't say hey to everybody. Danielle on natural. Good morning, Gen Jennifer, Keisha, Yaya. Spill tea with D. Yes. Good morning. Jaquetta. Good morning. Who else on here? Maggie Brooks. Good morning. April Lebr LeBlanc. I'm sorry. Good morning. Barbara D. Hart. Good morning. Leo. Good morning. Christine Hitch. Good morning. Tracy's take. Hey, my love. Um, the real China dog. <laughs> what y'all laughing at? Is I'm trying to see something. Hold on. Hey, Christina, how you doing? Sexy Mocha, how you doing? September Virgo. Uh, it's me, Rashonda. How you doing? Rashina, I'm sorry. How you doing? Chocolate stuff. Sophie B. Cookie MC. How you doing? Andrea. Soria, how you doing? Only accepting blessings. Hey, boo. Who else on here? Christian Griffin. Hey, boo. Nessa. Naomi. Six trip. Oh, girl. New Orleans born. Oh, girl. Girl. Naomi, you almost gave me a heart attack. You almost gave me the big one, like Fred Sanford. Six churn, God. You know, my mama had all them churns. So I guess, you know, I had one. I had one, and I looked, I said, you know what, Lord? This ain't for me. And the Lord said, you know what? You right. And, I, and you know, that's how that went, you know. But um, shout out to you, baby. I'm here for it. Hey, Jameer. Queen me. Hey, boo. Mental madness. Good morning. Let's get into some of these teas, girl. Let's get into some of these teas. Y'all keep saying, um, Good morning. I'm going to catch y'all as we go. Hey, Yaya Slim, Edwina, Alicia Tubbins. Hey, boo. Hey, Rochelle. Hey, my mama. How you doing? Bikini bottom. Body bottom. Why do I always do it? Bikini body. Hey, Mimi, special K. Uh, the Bang Rejoice, Jameer. How you doing? Um, Let's get into these seeds, girl. JJ Studios. Good morning. Johanna, how you doing? Let's get into these seeds. Now, I got to get down here. Now, look. Hey, Esther, good morning. Good morning, Chanel, Miss Turner. Good morning. Josie, what's going on? K KQ and Co Wolf, Wolf Clan? Good morning. Cookies and Milk Beauty Boutique. Hey, good morning. Let's get into it. Let me start off by saying this. I don't know, like I said, if you guys um watch Real Housewives of Potomac, but it didn't dawn on me to after I went over to Gabor's channel. Shout out to Gabor. He's really, really funny. Um, Gabor was over there talking about how Wendy was feeling away because they asked NECA about a definition of sexual, you know, A, S, A. When Daddy Vu coming back, I'm going to ask him. I'm going to ask him. I'm going to see if when he's going to come back or whatever. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, so they asked, he, Andy first asked Wendy, what's the correct, you know, definition, not the definition, but is what happened with Gizzard and Candy Yass's husband consider of like the definition of SA. And before he could say that, Robin or one of them was like, well, NECA is the one that's the attorney, so you should probably ask her. And this bitch, Wendy Holler, oh, well, he asked me, he's the host, but he asked me, and, and Andy was like, my bad, I got confused, you know, with all the everybody with all these degrees and whatnot. So I'm sitting here saying, listening to Gabor, and Gabor was right, because Gabor was like, um, Wendy don't want this other Nigerian girl to have nothing, and she don't. I told y'all NECA is a threat. Now, I know a lot of y'all gonna say NECA don't stay, hold a candle to, to, to this girl, and y'all looking at physical appearances. NECA is a threat to Wendy. Wendy still don't, Wendy don't have no identity. She's a fucking chameleon. She just blend in wherever the fuck she goes. Let's talk about it. She blends in everywhere she goes and she makes it like that. And even when she tried to speak in Igbo or whatever their language is, that shit sounded weird and silly and ugh. It was just like, girl, what are you, ugh? You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you doing all of that? But it just didn't sound natural. Girl, let me tell y'all something. NECA, him asking NECA that question really made, you know, uh, 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 Wendy feel the type of way. Y'all hit the like button. We need 100 more likes. Yep, they hateful to each other and hateful to black Americans. Shake my head. Let me tell you something. Y'all gotta understand, all black people in this diaspora is like that. We crabs in a barrel. All all the subsectors in the diaspora. We all like that. Black Americans like that. Africans like that. 
um, it just hit different for us, for us black Americans. Cause a lot of times when you see it from other blacks in the diaspora, you don't expect it, but it, it, it hit a little harder because of their previous dispositions on how, how they, um, you know what I'm saying? How they feel about us. You know, they think we just worse. We, we ain't shit yet. They come in and take, you know, and pros prosper off our cultures and, you know, and then try to look like us and sound like us and talk like this. You know what I mean? Rochelle said, woo, child, Wendy been hating on her since she came on the show. Wendy and her husband seem fake. Absolutely. Now, I don't think Eddie seem fake. I think Eddie just be like, that's my wife, whatever. I'm going to just let her, you know what I'm saying? Woo the woo. But Wendy, that bitch, something is wrong. I, I, I didn't like her from day one. Ever since that day, that day one when she slithered down them stairs with that fucking, with them shoulder pads on that fucking jacket. I never liked her. I never liked her. She got a lot of people fooled, but not me. Not me. I never liked her. And then she turned around and got a new body and a new face and a new... I'm like, bitch, who are you? Somebody, she trying to find herself. Bitch, not on RHOP, you ain't. We don't want to see that ugly ass shit. But anyways, that was just funny that he brought that up. I was just listening to him before I came on here. Shout out to Gabor. But you guys, we got some people on the topic, on the docket. Let's see who on here, y'all. Y'all know I... Oh, I know we got Stevie J. 50 still trolling on him. Diddy came out and said, you either with him or against him, and you need to make it known if you're with him. Oh, yes. Diddy is threatening people. Yes. Diddy said, niggas and bitches and bitches and niggas and hoes alike. Okay? Um, You either with me or you against me, and if you're with me, you need to make that shit known, and if you don't say nothing, your silence is complicity. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Um, and then we also have Flo J. Shout out to Flo J and the young uh the young women at LSU. We're gonna talk about that. They lost last night to um Iowa, the girl Caitlin Clark, the clear girl who everybody's bucking up. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get into that. We also gotta get into um I want to talk about this man left his six-year-old son in the middle of a river. Did y'all see that? We're gonna talk about that too. What else I had on this docky? Girl, Beyonce. Oh, my God. Beyonce and Stevie won the bitch. We got to talk about that. What's, they not the Barty games. What they is? They not the Barbs. What they is? Beehive. Beehive, if y'all on here, girl, we going to have to have a conversation. We going to have to have a conversation, Beehive. I'm sorry. We just going to have to have a conversation. Um, Who else on here? Uh, who else I got on here? Did I miss anybody? Girl, I'll get to him when I come to it. Let's get into it. Who we going to start with? Let's start with the six-year-old boy. So the six-year-old boy, clear boy, this guy, this Negro guy, was in his canoe, canoeing down, you know what I'm saying, the river. And this clear six-year-old boy with a life vest on was just in the water by himself. Literally. It's on, on the Neighborhood Talk. Go see it. It's on the Neighborhood Talk. Good morning, Angela. So look. Um, so the, the man pulls up on the little boy and was like, what you doing out in the middle of the, in the, of the river? Now, keep in mind, the current was sweeping him further and further up the river and the little boy was trying to fight against the river, the current. Now, if you guys know how to swim in uncharted waters, like not in a pool, you understand what currents do. Currents will literally take your ass under the water. That shit could take your ass to a fucking ocean. That's what currents are for, right? So the, the black dude pulled up on the little boy, told him, hold on to the canoe because he couldn't really pull him in because he, if he pulled him in because it was a canoe and the canoe kind of tipped a little bit too much and it would have got water in the canoe, they both would have been in the current. So he was just hold on to the boat. He was like, and we going, you know, um, we going to roll up, you know, like that. So he gets the little boy to safety, knock on some elderly people house. And the little boy said that his daddy left him in the motherfucking river. Yes. The little boy said my daddy left me in the river. So the police and everybody by the department called for sure. Sir, clear sir, your son was wrapped up in a current. He could have been drowned. This is a six-year-old child. I don't know if you guys know about this. This is a six-year-old boy. Clear boy. So now, this is the part that killed me. The man was like, oh, well, thank you for saving my son. And the, 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 the Negro man, you know, we get real docile when it comes to us talking to the clears. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and he's like, oh, no, it's okay. You know, you, you know, it was just dangerous out there. And, woo -de -woo -de -woo. and then the, um, the clear man told the, the Negro, he said, 
Well, I thank you. I appreciate it. I'm pretty sure I'll be seeing you again. I didn't like it. I didn't like the way it sounded. I didn't like the words. I didn't like none of it. Nigga, what you mean? What you mean? What? But see, 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 we already in front of the police. What you, what you mean? What you mean? You pretty sure you, why, why would you, say, what, what? What you say? No, mean what you say and say what you mean. So when I pop you upside your motherfucking head in front of these doggone, these, uh, these, um, these, uh, pigs, I'll have every right because you over here threatening me. Say what you mean, man, my nigga. And look, guess what the Negro boy did? Nothing. Nothing. Girl. I never will understand. I understand it. I ain't gonna lie. I understand why Negroes fear clear people like that. We are indoctrinated to fear clear people like that, even the ones that are inferior to us, because we raised up in the church with the clear man in the back sees a Borgia, you know what I'm saying, with the little halo on the top and the sun behind him is Jesus. That's why. But nigga, what? What you mean? You pretty sure you're going to see me again. Say what you mean to me, what you say. I just thought that was crazy, but I think he left that little boy out there to die. I'm sorry. I think he left that little boy out there to uh to unalive. Um, and the man brought him back. Yeah, the daddy said this happened before. He was like, he posted know to swim back to the shore. Nigga, your child is swept up in a current. Your child is what? Your child. You, listen, it's one thing if. No, not even a lake. Because even they have, like, your, your child got, there's currents in the water. Y'all know what a current is, right? It's the water under, it's like a hurricane under the water. It's the, it, it's what moves the water around, right? So underwater, there's these little, like, tornadoes, typhoon type, hurricane type shit going under the water. And what it does is it moves the water and it kind of like, it, it, it's a natural nature, nature-ish thing. And, but what happens is if you get caught in those currents, one or two things could happen. It can pull you under or it can push you out to the ocean because all rivers lead to bigger waters, right? So it either pushes you under, it can pull you under, or it can push you out to the ocean. Once you get caught in, in a current, you cannot swim against a current. You, you cannot, I've never even been caught in one, but the thought of it, because see, I'm a swimmer. I've never been caught in a current. But the thought of being caught in the current, no matter how hard you swim, Michael Phelps couldn't swim out of a fucking current. Yes, exactly. That's why no, um, no one can survive swimming in Alcatraz because of the multiple currents in the water. Absolutely. They, they gave a baby, they gave a little boy back to the daddy girl. What you mean? What you, they get? Yes, me sure. They gave a, they gave a little boy back to the daddy. Oh, I'm sorry for your loss, oh Libra. You know how many people in New, in New Orleans jumped in that lake and died from currents off the lake? Man, please. They used to have, at one point, they, there was a part on the lakefront where you could go swim. But they had to shut that shit down because they had too many people was dying, going fishing, going swimming, getting caught up in them fucking currents. This six-year-old child was lost in the current. And, and, and listen, this man lived by the water. He know what the fuck going on. That man wanted that, um... Uh, that man wanted that little boy not to make it. I don't care what nobody see. I that man wanted that little boy not to make it. Mm hmm. Oh, your AT drive at the lakefront. I'm so sorry to hear that. A lot of people listen. Y'all remember if you from New Orleans, y'all remember at one time it was like damn near somebody dying every other week on the lakefront. Now, see, Lake Lanier is a death sentence because them people still up there. Them people still under there. Oh, yes. You know, the city's still under there. A lot of boat accidents happen on there because they still got, they got signs, street signs still under the water. That's the different one. That Lake Lanier hit different. It's the, it's the ancestors under there. Hell yeah. He's a baby, six years old. Yep, he sure was. He sure was, Ronnie. But I thought that was, um, that was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? The reptiles is cold blood. I believe, too, he left that little boy out there 
to John. Oh yeah, the reptilians. Yes, 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 yes. There was a two-year-old baby walking in the middle of the street at 4 a.m. The, poli the police were known on everybody's knocking on everybody's door trying to find the child's parent. Girl, I'm telling y'all. They building the slide at Lake. Girl, please. See, girl, they go K your ass down the Lake Lanier if you want. Them clear people be unaliving over there. Oh, now they going west. I ain't fucking. I'm put a slide. Okay. <laughs> That'll be the last slide of your life. <laughs> Not you, real China dog. I'm just saying, people, people go get on that motherfucking slide, bitch. You go to slide down. Wee! See, when you hit that last, bitch, you're going to be saying, in the arms of an angel, you will find. <laughs> girl, I ain't fucking with the people down there at the Lake Lanier people, girl, please. Oh, Lord, I ain't playing with the people down there, girl. No way, no way, no way. My mom ain't raised no food. She might have raised a lot of things, but a food wasn't one of them. Girl, no way. Girl, please. Yes, indeed. Girl, slide down that bitch, holly. We in the arms of an angel. <laughs> oh, Lord, a time, a time. All my years in ATL, I've never been to Lake Lanier. Never, I've never been there neither. And I've been out here since 2016, the second time. The first time I went, I came out here in 2006 after Katrina. And I was out here for like four years. I ain't never um been out there neither. And ain't trying to go. Girl, they can put a water park, a slide, bitch. They can have Black Jesus down there. I'm not going. Y'all, listen, I'm not, I don't care who over there at Lake Lanier. I'm not going, okay? Let the clears go over there. That's some sort of, um, of reparations <laughs> retribution or something i don't know anyways girl let's move on um none clear people do uh surprise me anymore i stay in houston and travel a lot and there are so many clear that will send their young kids on the flight and throughout the airport by themselves yeah yeah girl lake lanier girl Girl, the whole town is haunted. That was a Black Wall Street. Y'all know that about Lake Lanier? We're going to have to cover that on one of these Educational Fridays. Lake Lanier was another Black Wall Street. Rosewood, not Rosewood, uh, which is another one. But uh, 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 Black Wall Street was one of many. Do y'all know why a lot of that stuff was happening? Why they was burning down them houses uh, and tearing up them people's shit? You know that was around the time for the Great Depression, right? Let me give y'all a quick little one, two, yin, 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 right? So the reason all of these pe all of these towns and all of these black cities that were thriving went under is because that was during the time of the Great Depression. The clears were broke as a two dollar bill. Do you hear me? Broke as a two dollar bill. So what had happened was they start looking around and seeing the Negroes thriving and flourishing, and they say, "How sway." how so they gathered up the good old boys the kkk's and they went town to town along with the police and the military is the sound going in and out i'm sorry let me know if the sound is good but along with the police and the military they went in and tore up all of those towns because the blacks were still thriving because remember this is prior to this is still around like you know like segregation type shit so black people kept their money into their own pockets clears kept their money into their own pockets so when so when the when the great depression happened when the when the great depression happened the clears were affected horribly but the negroes were not Don't watch nothing on the History Channel, girl. They be lying. So what happened was they gathered KKKs, millions upon millions, along with the police and the military. Heavy on that part with the military. Oscarville, yes, that's what it was called. Oscarville, listen. Heavy on the portion of the military. Fighter jets. Dago. You get it? You, you, do you, there go. This is the comment of the day. This is the comment of the day. 
Mind you, reconstruction. This is a comment of the day. That's why they wanted integration. See, this the let me let me let me spit something right quick. I wasn't even trying to go here, but let me spit, let me spit something to y'all right quick. The poor Negroes and the poor clears are at each other's throat because they believe that skin color has some sort of um of a uh, uh, currency. And it really does. If you clear, you get more privileges. If you Negro, you don't. Um, but at the end of the day, when it gets up to the upper echelon, it's a status type shit type deal. And what happened was they saw, hey, these motherfuckers at each other neck. They're not going to want to integrate, which is why they push school integrations, which is why with the busing system. That's why they got Mike, Mike, Mike Martin Luther the King to get his ass up here. You know what I'm saying? And, and do that, you know, my black children and white children holding their hands in the woot the woot the woot type shit. Because even during the Montgomery bus boycott and all that other stuff that was going on, we were still thriving. Our money was still circulating within our own communities. So that's why the generation before the children of the um the civil rights generation was like, do not integrate. Do not go down there and register to vote. If you register to vote, we're going to lose our land. And they lost their land. But listen, let me tell you how they lost their land. And, and I don't want to spend, spend too much time on this. We're going to have to check this out on Educational Friday. Let me tell you how they lost their land through voting. First of all, Negroes thought if we can vote, we will be labeled as first class citizens, right? That was the whole point. I've been, we already went over it on Educational Friday. So, boom. They go down to register to vote. But what happened was prior to that, the clear people was already taking their land. But they did it slowly but surely, right? So what they would do is, like if you had 30, 40 acres of land, let's say Moray uh, Gold got 40 acres of land, and she can't afford to plow all 40 acres, not to mention they just put taxes on your shit. Now, you've been having this land in your family for four or five generations. Now, they um, imp implemented the homestead uh, taxes, and you can't afford to plow your shit. So, with the clear people who, remember, Martin Luther King said, they are uh, undergird is white peasants by giving them economic floors and uh, land-grant colleges, you know, and, and, and money to mechanize their farms. Remember, they had the machines. So what they did was they came in and be like, look, and I'm going to show you a video Friday. I got one I, where the lady really explains in real time what the fuck, how she lost her land. Look, so they so they come in and they say, look, you can't afford to plow this land. Plus you owe taxes. So this one I'm going to do. You let me plow so -and -so, uh, your land and give me certain percentage of it. Oh, by the way, your taxes is going up and up and up and up and up. You can't afford it. So look, I do this. I pay your taxes. You work for me. And then after you work for me, uh, uh, you know, you go, you start paying me back as time goes on. I'm telling you the game, girl. This is before Martin Luther the King. This is how it was going. So, so, so the black folk was forced to give them portions of their land and also work for them on their own freaking land. Let me, let me, I'm about to get y'all the real tea. This is the shit they don't want to talk to y'all about. So. The poor people was supposed to was forced to give up their land, portions of it, and also work for the clear people on their land. Now, when they went to register to vote to become first class citizens, when they went to register to become first class citizens via voting, the landowners who now own the land or who you working for was like, if you carry your ass down there to vote, I'm going to kick your ass off this land. And this is your fucking land. That's your land. So. The, the Negroes was like, but I want to be first class citizens. And the clear people who now own your land was like, yeah, they're already paying you a dollar for a whole day's worth of picking cotton or doing some type of farm shit. A dollar a day. That's what you, and you still got to feed your churn. Let me give you the game. So when they went down there, the, the adults really wasn't on it type shit. It was the children. I told you everything comes through the children. I told y'all that. So they got the children to believe in this voting rights bullshit. And the uh, the, the parents, even, uh, what's that little Biblehead boy who say uh, Martin Luther King, uh, he died. The uh, the one who was on the um the senator, one of the senators. Uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about, little boy. Um, 
This little weird looking little 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 man. Y'all know y'all don't put the name in the chat. Y'all not be bad with names off the cuff. So even his parents told him, don't you go down there fucking with Martin Luther King and that stupid ass shit. If you go down there fucking with him on the civil John Lewis, that's his name. Thank you. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. He said, if you carry your ass down there, his mom and daddy told him this. They had they have enough money to pay for this man to go to college. Listen to me. No student loan. They had money to pay for this man to go to college. They say, if you carry your ass down there, fucking with Martin Luther King and them fucking people, they're going to take our fucking land. Not only that, when he got to Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King told him, hey, I'm just letting you know, FYI, carry your ass down here. I know you want to fight for the struggle, but your parents might lose their land. And you know what John Lewis said? Fuck them people. And was, and was down for the cause. So soon as we gave we gained the right to vote, and as soon as we uh got these so-called civil rights in it was all a plan. We we played right into the bullshit. You get it? So we were thriving prior to integration. So in my opinion, integration is the most horrible thing that has ever happened to black people now we are one trillion percent dependent upon the clear people for everything in the world you get it so that's just the story about that you know what i'm saying so you know at the end of the day uh y'all a lot of black americans y'all might have family that was taken and you can get it back there's ways to do that but you know i'm just trying to get y'all a little tea on that but yeah that's how that happened so why everybody be in their feelings? That's why I keep telling people, you watch them feelings. Watch the decision you make based on your feelings. You're going to get yourself fucked up long term. A lot of people today act off of feelings. Watch them. Because see, the civil rights movement was a feeling. That's what the fuck that was. We didn't need to, to work for them folk. Listen, when they boycotted the bus down in Montgomery, them fucking clear people almost went bankrupt and was out. We didn't need that shit. We was financially and economically independent. Hmm. We're discussing on Educational Friday one of these days, girl. Y'all got to watch them feelings. Stop making these decisions. Look at the logic behind this shit. Yeah, stop, stop. Hey, stop making decisions off these feelings now. No, you know, and, and also look, when they, when they, um, when they, when they integrated the schools, they had already talked to clear kids about black history and told them that we were monkeys from Africa. So then when they integrated the school and did the busing they, in, the, in the 50s and the 60s, they had all them churned together and they taught them all together, clears and Negroes, that the black people were from huts, dirt roads in Africa. <laughs> look, look how they played us. After they stole our land, look, after they stole our land, then they, they taught our churn in the 50s and 60s. <laughs> oh, y'all ain't even from here. Y'all from Africa. The fuck? Yay. Y'all from Africa. Look, it's in the book. How you know? It's in the book. Look. And we've been hollering Africa ever since. Girl, y'all got to be strong, girl. This is crazy. This is crazy. We've been hollering Africa ever since. You, you know, we if, if there were ever a lost people, we sure are it. I'll just say that anyway. But let's move on. Um, Beyonce, girl. Let's get on her. Let's get her out the way. Now, Beyonce was uh, awarded at the iHeart Radio Awards. She was awarded, what well, she was, the most um innovative or something like that. And, you know, I'll say this. She deserved that. She is the most innovative. She is. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Let me take that back. No, she ain't. No, she ain't. You know what word I was thinking of? She was the most, I was thinking of, um... What's the word when people be, uh, when, well, I guess that could be innovative. I guess, I guess that could be innovative. Cause she do have a lot of influence. I was thinking influential. But I thought innovative is like when you, like a, some creator, or like on, on the, on the lines of create. let me go look it up. Let's fuck all that. Let me see. Let me go see. I was right. That hoe ain't the most innovative. That's when, yeah, when you creative, I just looked it up. Oh, hell no. She ain't innovative my ass. Beyonce is a musical thief. 
and a concept and a dance thief. They wrong for giving her that award. I know I will. I know my see. I don't might not know the words off the cuff. Yeah, Steph, she sure she sure do just making her. I might not know the definition off the cuff, but I know how to use words and sentences, and sometimes it just don't hit the way it's supposed to hit. She ain't no goddamn innovative. She ain't no innovative, but it's a popularity contest, girl. That's why I don't even do nothing about new awards, girl. But let's get back into it. So they gave this uh, woman the innovative award. She done put out two songs, bitch. This ain't Texas. It ain't no hold on. So lay your cards down, 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 down. And Jolene, or whatever the fuck that ugly ass shit is, girl. First and foremost, Stevie Wonder is still standing, and I don't know how. The nigga got to be 89, and he blind, allegedly. But he gives her the award, you know what I'm saying? And and she, you know, oh, thank you. I would like to thank everybody. Bitch, you copied off of Kim Michelle. Can we talk about it? She, Beyonce would have never looked the way of K. Michelle, of, of, of country music if K. Michelle years ago had not came out and said she was doing uh, country music. Argue with your mom. Beyonce is a fucking colonizer. She's a Negro colonizer is what she is. She's a Negro colonizer. Now, this how you know Beyonce ain't shit. Beyonce done turned around and sent K. Michelle a big old bouquet of flowers. Bitch, please. If I was K. Michelle, I'd have, I'd have pissed on them flowers. Bitch, you got me fucked up. You got all these motherfuckers on the album hole, and you can't call me, bitch, when you stole my idea? Bitch, put me on. If you gonna stake my shit, put me on. Put me on. You stole my whole idea, my whole bag. Black women won't worry about going into country music like that. Now, I'm not saying they didn't have black music, black women in country music. But I'm saying black women was not crossing over from, from pop and R&B to country music before K. Michelle. Argue with your mom. And you gonna send me some motherfucking flowers, bitch? Bitch, I would have set the flowers on, on fire and, and went live, bitch. You got me fucked up. Yeah, she took A. Marie Hole's way. That's what she, she's a fuck. I believe, you know, I'm starting to think Beyonce might be an alien, but she might be clear. She might be AI or something. I don't know. This new Beyonce, they might have cloned her and me and Kate. And, you know, it's probably a clear person on the inside. Because it's that, though, she moved like a clear woman. Am I lying? Beyonce moves like a clear woman. She does. She moves like a Karen. Yes, we started country music. I agree. We did. But we wasn't worried about no country music for years as a collective. Beyonce might be a, 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 a clone or AI, and it's probably a, with a clear woman brain. Y'all know they, they, they showed y'all that on Get Out when they was trying to uh, get them black men and put them old clear men brains inside their bodies. Hmm, y'all keep playing. Keep acting like that shit just be in the movies. Are you not entertained? She ain't reverse colonizing because, well, no, she's not. Well, what they mean reverse colonizing? Reverse. I think that would be if she colonized onto the clear people, but she colonizing onto the Negroes a lot too. I don't listen. I this this is this Beyonce Hill. Daily and and listen. Awards are only a freaking popularity contest. That's all. That's why brand new artists getting Grammys and shit. Awards ain't shit, but a popularity contest. And this how I know the bitches um is is you know got influence. Look at my best friend call me. Oh bitch, come down to um Vegas. Um uh, April twenty seventh. I'm doing a whole down birthday. Now this bitch won't be a cow girl. Girl, we live in New Orleans. Girl, we from New Orleans. Girl, we ain't no cows. We ain't no pigs, bitch. We ain't have no horses, bitch. What you mean a whole down? Talking about yeah, go get you a hat and some boots and <clears throat> and we gonna have a whole down, bitch. We from the city of New Orleans. We don't know nothing about no goddamn cowgirls and cowboys. But that's my friend now. Her whole birthday party about to be a hoedown, girl. This is crazy. This is crazy. Yes, it's going to be a hoedown. This is crazy. I can't make this shit up. I can't make this shit up. Now I got to go be a cowgirl. And I don't know nothing about cows, pigs, chickens, no, no horses. Girl, this is crazy. Now I got to give me an outfit. Girl, 
Hell yeah, the cowgirl booth going up. See how to see how to clear people get to make more money. No, she about to have one abundance. She about to have one for her birthday, April twenty seventh. <clears throat> Look, the chap's going to go up. All that shit about to go up. I Listen, and she is restealing what was already stolen. I don't have a problem with that. You know what my problem come in with Beyonce? Is she's, 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 she's stealing, restealing what was stolen from us. Yes. But she's not putting the right people on who already start. Like, it's almost like, <clears throat> it's almost like she Martin Luther the King and that shit. You know how, like, Martin Luther King will come in on a grassroots project that was already happening and he just be the face of it. That's what she doing. What about these other people who've been in the game? What about black feet people? Why are you not putting them on? Why are you not putting on K. Michelle? K. Michelle was started that wave of black girls going back to country music. Period. So I don't mind her resetting it back from the clears. I just feel like the way she doing the Negro girls too, I don't like that. I don't like it. And let me tell you something. I don't listen. The clears don't get a say so, but I ain't gonna lie. If I was a clear, I'd be mad. Um, at the at at Beyonce too. Let me tell you why. Cause that bitch ain't singing no country music. That was the same Texas. It ain't no hold on. So lay your cards down, 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 down. It's, that ain't no motherfucking country music. Now listen to one of K Michelle's songs. That's some country music. Beyonce is over there, me, myself, and I on a country song. That's all she doing. She's singing the same way she sung on me, myself, and I. That's all I got in the end. You see the exes. Oh, she ain't doing nothing but putting that shit on the doggone song on, on a beat that sounds sort of country. And that Jolene song, she listen. Beyonce don't have no the voice for that. That that ain't Beyonce bag. Beyonce got that. She do too many runs. The country music don't call for all of that. You gotta hit a million runs in one word, girl. I, I them people don't want all that on their music. Them people don't want all that shit on their motherfucking music, bitch. <laughs> them people don't be singing like that over there. Them people don't do that. Y'all know I ain't lying. Now, nah, come on now. We got to be honest about a certain thing. Y'all know we got to have the uncomfortable conversations. Them people don't be singing that sh ugly ass shit like that. Them people got a twang to them. I stole my baby down, down the town and I took my baby up down around and I hope my baby come back because I love my baby like that. Oh, my baby's gone, but I love to see him on back home. And I love my baby. I love my baby down. Them people don't be. <laughs> Nigga, don't want to hear all that fucking voodoo ass shit on the motherfucking beat, bitch. Nigga, don't want to hear that ugly ass shit. That shit trash. And now they about to make Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? Right. Jazz. She be hitting every note but the but the right one. There it go. Girl, Beyonce making me mad with this ugly ass shit. And everybody just gonna go buy it and go fucking with it because it's Beyonce. Girl, Beyonce over there, girl, leave them people shit alone. I told y'all last time we talked. Beyonce need to leave them people shit alone. Cut your ass back to the R&B streets. This is not your block. This is not your block. You don't even know how to switch. If you listen to a K. Michelle country song and then you listen to one of her R&B songs, those are two different songs, two different sounds, two different everything. Two different everything. Yeah, Etta James told that. Etta James cussed her mother, girl, did Etta James cuss her out. Her, Barack and Michelle sure did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. She cussed her beat Barack and Michelle. Show sure, as she should. As she should. But again, everybody just gonna like it because it's Beyonce, girl. Y'all crazy. Beyonce, leave them people shit alone, girl. Go find something else to do, girl. They got other things you could be doing, girl. Go build a school or something. I don't know. Go, go. I don't know. She could, it's a lot of things she could be doing, but leave them fucking people shit alone. Now, not Beyonce about to take the old shit and turn on. Country ain't even gonna sound country no more. Country ain't even gonna sound country no more. It's going to sound like Beyonce. Because all the new hoes coming up under Beyonce, trying to be country, ain't even going to understand what real country music is, the original art we created. They're going to be trying to sound like Beyonce. Watch. Watch. 
girl. She's a goddamn thief. Beyonce, most innovative. When I heard it, I said, this don't sound right. Now, I ain't know the definition off the cuff. But I was like, I thought innovative mean like you create something or you like, you know, and I was like, nah, that bitch ain't no mother girl, please. Girl. Now, they say she wound up working around the clock because Jay-Z the handler. That's what they said. That's what they said. So we don't know. And and see, that's another thing. I, I'm from New Orleans. We had Aaron Neville. We had Aaron Neville. We didn't even realize that that was country music. I don't take away my heaven. Aaron Neville, that was my first country song I remember. I didn't even realize he Hill for Real. I didn't even realize that was country music because it sounded so good. But this girl over there stealing them people shit, girl, Beyonce, go lay down. Go get Sir Siri and Rumi and go lay your ugly ass down, Beyonce. Leave them fucking people shit alone. Put Beyonce, you putting everybody on the album. You got Stevie Wonder playing the harmonica. Why you didn't put um K. Michelle on the album? Why you didn't go do a, 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 a single with K. Michelle? You know what I'm saying? It's a whole lot of... um. Shit, she should have did. But she saw K. Michelle make a move, and so I wasn't picking up and said, Oh, I'm about to go do it because I'm Beyonce and they're going to fuck with me. That's what happened. That's what happened. Now she got Stevie on that bitch playing that motherfucking harmonica. Hell yeah, K. Michelle would have outshined her. You ain't lying. I'm going to stop you when you start lying, but go ahead. She need to go get Siri and Rumi and go do something with herself. Shit. Now she over there fucking. I don't care about the clear people over there. I'm talking about the Negroes. And speaking of the clear people, let me say this. Somebody put in my comments. Oh, Voodoo, I hate that you don't like clear people. I don't dislike clear people. Why would I dislike clear people? Oh, Alicia, go lay down. Voodoo, black country music have different sounds. If you listen to how a country artist from Texas sings and the artist from Mississippi and Georgia, they sound different. They, none of them sound like Beyonce, though. Alicia, don't no, I don't care if they from Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, uh, 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 Mexico. Don't none of them sound like Beyonce. I tell you who they don't sound like Beyonce. Alicia, now can we talk? I tell you who none of them. They might sound different, but I tell you who none of them sound like Queen B. Queen B. Girl, oh, Alicia, girl, go lead out, girl. Girl, please. Girl, please. They don't sound like, oh, I don't care who they sound like. Tennessee, California, girl, they could be doing country up in Noggon, Timbuktu. They still ain't gonna sound like Beyonce. Nah. Girl, Beyonce. <laughs> but no, let me say this part. This is clear lady hopped in my comments and was like, voodoo, I don't understand why. She said, I like your content. I'm one of your biggest uh, followers, but you don't like clear people. I don't dislike clear people. As a matter of fact, most of my commentary be geared toward Negroes. Now, I mention clear people because obviously we exist amongst each other. But for the most part, most of my commentary be uh, geared toward Negroes. So I don't have no disdain or dislike for clear people. Am I trying to be like friends with a whole bunch of clear people and make this a clear channel? No, this is a Negro center. This is these are all Negro meetings. I'm pro-segregation when it comes to that type shit. Certain shit, I'm talking to my people. I'm trying to wake my people up on some shit. You know what I'm saying? So so it's not that I dislike clear people. It's just that I'm Negro-centered. Centered. Black American in particular, but black people all together. You know what I'm saying? So I don't dislike clear people. I, I be clear people be hitting me up all the time. They, they fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? It's just that we y'all not included on this one. That's it. That's it, baby. And it's okay. It's okay. You have a lot of circles and spaces you could be at. We don't have that many choices. So you can go somewhere else. But over here, this is a Negro-centered space. We Negro, all Negro, 24. This is what we thought BET was. This is what we thought BET was. Black entertainment, that's what we thought BET was. That's what I'm trying to build over here. Negro. Yes, these Negro problems over this way. We ain't got time. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I don't have. I'm not. I'm not gonna never center the clears over my Negroes, even when they're wrong. I don't care. 
They ain't gonna never happen. I got to, I got to make sure my Negroes are taken care of. You know what I'm saying? So you know, and, and it's okay. You can come sit down and do a little one-two yanking and laugh and and say a little one-two on certain topics. But you know, for the most part, this is an all Negro meeting. So you know, yeah, let let us have our little one-two. You know, we ain't bothering nobody. We chilling. We ain't, we ain't causing no ruckus. We ain't, we ain't starting no uprisings or nothing. We over here chilling, doing our thing. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, yeah, Beyonce, go lay your ass down. Go lay your ass down, okay? Fucking with them people, shit. She about to fuck country music all the way up. The ancestors about to be turning in their grave, fucking around with Beyonce. Even the ancestors, at first they probably was clapping, okay, we getting our music back. And then as soon as Beyonce got on the beat, this ain't Texas, there ain't no hold on. So lay your gun down. They say, oh, shit. Them people live rolling over in their motherfucking graves. Say, bitch, get that hoe off the off the beat. Get that hoe off the track. Please get off the track. You done got the ancestors fucked up. They thought that we was coming back for redemption and you come and fuck the whole shit up. Jolene. Nigga don't ain't no motherfucking Jolene. We don't even know nobody named. Black people don't even know nobody named Jolene. The fuck? Jolene. Jolene. Girl, what? Jolene took my man. Girl, black women don't sing like that, bitch. We fight. When when we when a bitch take our man, we fight. What you mean? We ain't sitting out making no song about no motherfucking Jolene taking my man. Is you crazy? Girl, please. We Jolene took my man. Girl, what we singing for? Girl, we already fought. We already just got bonded out of jail. What you mean? We've already been bonded out, waiting on our court date. We ain't singing no song about no motherfucking host there. Girl, please. I like that. And she, she, she doing that to Dolly Parton song. Girl, please. Girl, please. Girl, you should at least change the name or something. Girl, we ain't singing no motherfucking song about no bitch took our nigga. Girl, is you crazy? We already on, we already got our anchor bracelet on waiting on the court date. Stop acting crazy. <laughs> Y'all know I ain't lying. We already got our ankle bracelet on. And we got to go see our P.O. We waiting on our court date. <laughs> but Beyonce, leave them fucking people shit alone. If you ain't doing it right, let K. Michelle do it. Let K. Michelle be the, the head on this. Because you not doing it right. Hmm? Clearly, none of you heard Daddy Issues, That's Country. Not sure why I went R&B vocally on the on this album. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Well, happy birthday, Zanab. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, Zanab. Happy birthday. You guys, like the video. 384 likes and 662 in the chat. Come on now. Y'all like the video now. Come on now. Come on now. Like the video now. Y'all over here joking with me. Like the video. Let's move on. Beyonce, leave them fucking people shit alone. And I'm going to ask you again. Leave them people shit alone. Okay? Beyonce about to, about to make country music Beyonce music. Ain't going to be no more country music, bitch. Everybody going to be over there. <laughs> Girl, please. You don't want to hear that ugly ass shit on the... Girl, we don't hear that ugly ass shit. Who else we got on the docket? Girl... Who else? I don't want to say. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on, y'all. I'm coming right back. Hold on. All right. Let's start with uh, sports. Let's go to sports. Vontae Davis, 35-year-old NFL player, unalive, dead in the house. I'm, listen to me, 35 healthy, 35 year old healthy NFL player found unalive in the house. Is anybody at any point going to ask why healthy at athletes are unalived like this? What is happening? 35 year old healthy. NFL player found unalive. They said it wasn't no drugs, no foul play. Well, what the fuck happened? 
You want me to tell you uh, what I think has happened? Either they pop them upside the head and they're trying to hide it, or them damn uh that that jibber jabber. Yes, them that jibber jabber. It can't be steroids because they get tested for that. If they get if they, they get tested for that, it can't be steroids. Nope, it can't be steroids. It's the jibber jabber. It's the jibber jabber. Let me tell you something. NFL players cannot use steroids. They, 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 they've already put a system in place where that will not happen. Either there was foul play and they and they not telling us, or it was the jibber jabber. I don't care. Too many black athletes, too many young athletes, not even black. Too many young athletes have been dropping dead. And the fact that black people, not all the people, I'm talking about the Negroes. The fact that the Negroes had to grasp themselves with the idea that, hey, you know, um, uh, 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 I got this jibber jabber, so I'm going to make excuses. We are now saying that it is normal for young, healthy athletes to just drop dead. And that's not normal. That's not normal. I, listen to me. That is not normal. I'm not dragging nobody for taking the, the vaccine. A lot of us had to take it for what we needed it for, you know, for jobs and all that stuff. I didn't get it, but a lot I understand. Yes, people, period. But I see in the comments, it'd be a lot of Negroes down there hollering. Oh, well, y'all just want to put it on there. It could be anything else. What? At what time have we seen a whole bunch of athletes, young athletes just dropping? Yeah, LeBron son too. I did a video on that. Yes, they passing out on the fields left and right. And we want to 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 uh to make it seem like it ain't that just to feel better about what what? I'm telling you. It's the jibber jabber. It's the jibber jabber. LeBron's son passed out. He they either they cloned this nigga or he all right. We just were talking about DeMar Hamlin last night. Y'all not, don't, don't normalize that shit. This is what I'm saying. Do not normalize young black athletes unaliving, dropping dead. Don't do that. They got a whole um, a documentary on coroners. Speaking about how all of them bodies coming through them morgues, a whole, it was a whole thing. All, a whole bunch of coroners got together. I'm talking about all over the world. And they were talking about how they couldn't even embalm the bodies because the amount of blood clots and the size of the blood clots that was in these folks. Due to the jibber jabber. So, be careful. You know what I'm saying? Let's not do that. They say it died on Rumble. I, oh, I'll get it. I'll take care of it another time. I ain't got time. Thank you for that. But no, listen. They talked about that. That's a real, um, what you call them? That's a real uh, uh, documentary on that. I don't know if y'all, see, they keep, they keep that type shit under wraps. All of them corners, all of them bodies that was coming through there, them people couldn't even embalm the bodies because the fluid would get stuck because of the amount of, and the size. The fucking clock that was pulling out was long as fucking pencils. Do you hear me? I'm just saying. I know. I'm going to get at me. Thank you. But anyways, I, I rest in peace to that young man. Uh, condolences go out to his family because that ain't normal. That ain't normal. Yup, that's exactly what it looked like, Sophie. If you seen the documentary, if you seen the documentary, it literally it literally looked like tree roots. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Anyways, moving on. So now that we on sports, my condolences go out to the family. Uh, let's move on to something lighter. So LSU lost to the clear girl, Caitlin Clark. Now, let me tell y'all something. Once I know. Once I saw that they were bigging up this clear girl, Clay, Caitlin Clark, I'm sorry, you know, uh, the one who lost to Angel Reese last year, putting her with all these endorsements, putting all this money behind her, I said, at this point in time, they are going to let her win the championship. 
because they want her to be the face of women's basketball. They wouldn't dare have a Negro girl, the women's, the face of women's basketball. Now, if they're going to make women's basketball a thing, they have to be the face of it. That's what this is all about. Now, listen, let me tell y'all something. It's not that Caitlin Clark isn't a good player. She's an excellent player. She really is. The bitch is unmatched when it comes to dropping them threes. The problem is she's not the best player all around. She don't have no defense. You see what I'm saying? She, 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 she's, listen, you leave the hole open, you did. If you leave Caitlin Clark open, she, she kind of almost on some Steph Curry type shit in that, in that arena. It's going in. The problem with LSU, I watched the game the second half last night when I got off the live. They didn't play defense on her. With, with, with teams like that, you have to intimidate them mentally. If you don't intimidate them mentally, you will not win because if, as long as they have the confidence, they're going to drop them threes, pop, 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 like 90 going west, and that's exactly what happened. And this how I feel like it was all set up. Last year, Kim Mokey knew the fucking the, the formula, and she, got, she had Angel Reese get in – Caitlin Clark's head to where Caitlin Clark was off of her game and could not perform. That's how they lost. She couldn't perform to the best of her, her abilities. I'm telling you, and I've been doing this shit since my baby was five years old. I know what I'm talking about. But this year, they asked Flo J. Shout out to Flo J, man. Shout out to the young queen, Flo J. They asked uh, Flo J, you know, what you feel like you could have done different on the defense side. Woo -de -woo -de -woo. Flo J even said, oh, well, I wasn't playing good D. I wasn't on her like I should have. But then she turned around, if I heard this right, and said, but Coach Kim didn't want me on her like that because we were in foul trouble. Pause. I keep telling y'all. I keep telling y'all. I keep telling y'all all this shit is rigged. Now, if Kim Mokey knew that, let's let's take them off. Let's take them off the table. Let's say Jordan, Pippen, Rodman. That's the big three on the Bulls, and they playing the Pistons. Let's say they playing the Pistons. Let's say they playing the Pistons when they had Ron Artest, right? Oh yeah, the refs being on it too. Everybody being on it. Yes, ma'am. Rodman. Who are, or even you could look modern day, Draymond Green. This is the person you need on the best player. You need this motherfucker in this person's head so bad. I'm talking about, I don't give a fuck if you foul out. Your job, your one job is to get on this person because you need to intimidate this person mentally in order for them to get off their game. Kim Mokey told Flo J, oh no, don't be on her like that. Get off, back off of her. She went in and then the, the defense they was playing. You still in zone and fucking uh Caitlin Clark busting fucking threes over these old girl. I was so disgusted. I was so disgusted. But let's let's see why this why is this important. Look. So Flo J was told to get back up off of um off of uh Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark busting threes like nine to going west. Um I don't know how many fouls Flo J had in particular. I don't know if she was in foul trouble or she said the team was in foul trouble. I can't remember because I only caught the second half. But let me say this, y'all. Um, that shit set up for Caitlin Clark to be the face of women's basketball. That is set up. Caitlin Clark will be the face. When they speak about history... Caitlin Clark is going to be the greatest woman's WNBA or, or basketball player of all time. Watch my smoke. Watch. 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 It was the team in foul trouble. That's all right. I'd rather her go to the line and work for it than to bust them threes like she was. But the bitch was hot. The bitch was hot. They trying to make this girl... The dog on um, face of women's basketball. And they're going to go down in history. And when they start looking at the, the come up with women's basketball, they're going to say it was Caitlin Clark. Because, see, it's not like NBA. See, the NBA was too many niggas. You couldn't put it all on Larry Bird. It was too many niggas. You couldn't just say Larry Bird was the one. It was too many niggas. But, see, a lot of black girls don't play basketball. You see what I'm saying?
It's, 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 we out there, but for the most part, our girls are in sports, period. But a lot of us don't play. So they can't camouflage it. You know, you can't, you can't. It's just when you look at women's basketball right now on a collegiate level, all you know right now is Slo J, Andrew Reese. I'm talking about the top, Andrew Reese and Kaylin Clark. Them the top three. But when you go to men's basketball on a collegiate level, I'm pretty sure I don't watch men's collegiate basketball, but I'm pretty sure there's a plethora of of Negroes so you can't just say it was one a great white hope. They about to make they about to make Caitlin Clark the face of women's basketball. And she's gonna be I'm telling you, and they're gonna put all that money in the pocket and Ice Cube Duck Ass was over there offering up five million dollars to go play the big three in the offseason. And they be your own people. And and this the part, Bianca, when I was talking to my old man last night and I was asking him, I said, why the fuck would and then I said, I forgot. See Black people like to act like people in Lu the clear people in Louisiana ain't racist. Listen to me and listen to me good. You think Kim Mokey would rather see Caitlin Clark get her little one than Flo J and them? And this the gag, let's just go there. Angel should have been offered that $5 million in the offseason from a Negro. Yes, Ice Cube Walker. He should have offered that to another Negro girl. But I keep telling y'all, them people don't own themselves. They got to do what the fuck them up, girl. All right. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But shout out to Flo J. You know what? And this is another thing I want to, um, at the, at, at, I want to explain about Flo J. So they asked Flo J. You know, no, Flo J made a comment about Angel Reese and had Angel Reese in tears. She said, y'all don't know Angel Reese. Angel Reese is a wonderful person. She's the reason I go so hard. She's a team player. She's she's she revered Angel Reese. Angel Reese has been dragged in the media simply because she's a black woman. Let me say that again. Angel Reese is being dragged in the media only because she's a black woman. You got Caitlin Clark, he man looking ass, over there telling the refs to shut the fuck up. She cursing out people on the bench. She over there crying. She's showing more emotion most of the time than Angel fucking Reese. But as soon as Angel Reese said, get out your feelings and get a bag, he come all the clears. Oh, she needs to humble down. Even my old man said that last night and I had to correct him. I like Angel, but she needs to humble down. I say, pause. L let me show you how it work on us, and we don't even know it to be in the subconscious. I said, let me ask you a question. Why do you feel like Angel Reese needs to, need to humble down? Well, because she be this, that, and the third. I said, well, let me ask you a question on this. When you watch a men's basketball, do you see any man that say he needs to humble down? Have you ever seen a man on men's basketball, whether it's college, bitty, I don't give a damn, NBA. Have you ever seen a man doing too much and say he needs to humble down? He thought about it. He was like, you right. You only saying that for two reasons. Number one, because she's a woman. And number two, because she's black. On black and white sides. We, you, come on, black women. Y'all on here. Y'all know we don't get to be ourselves unapologetically. Now people get to acting crazy. Oh, she's angry. Oh, she did. They get to go and acting a fool. So. I'm understanding what these people are doing. And Angel Reese has been taking the brunt of a lot of shit. Like, it's as if she's the most aggressive and nastiest and meanest person in the fucking collegiate uh, uh, women's basketball. And that is, the bo that is the most bullshit I've ever heard. That little he-man looking bitch, Caitlin, I done seen this whole go off. Do you hear me? I done seen this whole get the crying in the middle of the fucking game. Bitch, we in college. What you crying for? The only time you need to be crying is if you win it. What are you doing? That's exactly how they did Serena. I'm trying to tell y'all. Shout out to Angel Reese. And I hope Angel Reese don't change a mother plucking thing about herself. Because it's going to be some of her people along with the clears. That's going to be saying, oh, you need to humble down. You need to humble down. No, you don't. This is a fucking sport because I, because I have TNA, 
I got to tumble down, bitch. Sports is competitive. Anything competitive, you have to fucking be competitive. And it's typically through aggression. That's the way that goes. That's how that goes. They did, like y'all said, they did Serena Williams the same thing. Serena Williams was busting them holes, ass, hitting them fucking balls so hard, them clear women couldn't take it. So much so, the clear people on their side were saying that she looked like a man, making fun of her grunts. And this how you know black people have a subconscious issue with our own selves. Even Negroes were saying she too manly. Even the Negroes will say, yeah, she is a little big. She is a little, she ain't gonna lie. Look, she, she, she do got a hard face. And this how you know niggas ain't shit. Yeah, y'all want to say she got a hard face, right? Right? But soon as she married to that clear man, all the Negroes had a problem. Girl, go lay down. We fucked up as a people. We fucked up as a people. We are fucked up as a people. It's just, you know what I'm saying? We, the same Negroes who was agreeing with the clear men, calling her this, that, and the third, not was mad when she went married the clear man. Go lay down. Moving on. I'm saying this to say, shout out to Flo J for taking her platform and using it to big up her, her teammate. I don't know if they're friends in real life, but I do know that they are teammates. And that was so mature and so amazing for her to do because that needed to be said. See, people only see Angel on the court and it only looks like that because she's battling a clear woman. That's it. If it was Angel against another black woman, nobody would open their mouth, black or clear. This is only happening because it's her against a clear woman. And the clear woman went Karen last year and started crying. Let's talk about it. You did your thing, Flo J. You played your ass off. The move, that spin move she did, uh, going to the bucket, that, that, that girl played her motherfucking ass off. Shout out to Flo J. Johnson. Is that her last name, Johnson? Shout out to Flo J, man. Shout out to Flo J. Flo J, you did your big one. You see, it, it, that tells me you a motherfucker, you a humanitarian on and off the court. That is a true leader. That is a true leader. Period. Let's move on. Who else on here? Let me go see. Hold on. Shakari, another one too. I hated that when she got caught with the with the marriage of winner. All it was Negroes. Oh, see, that she go to the nigga. Her mama just. I don't understand. Then they was making fun of her looks. Then when they found out she was a lesbian, then it was a, it was something. Like, you can't win with with Negroes. It, the clears gonna do what the clears do. That's what the clears are gonna clear. But Negroes, I told y'all, niggas ain't guaranteed to do nothing but nigga. Guaranteed to, guaranteed to do nothing but nigga. You know what I'm saying? Let me go get something else. Hold on. Girl, the George Floyd scholarship. Girl, I need to take a sip of water on this. So I don't know if this is a school thing or if this is a federal thing, but there's a George Floyd scholarship, right? And in this George Floyd scholarship, the clears in the, 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 the milk community, they are now saying that it's um, they, they trying to uh, be racist because they only offer it to Negroes. I thought that was the whole purpose of it. But that's not even where it stops. I go look down the list of requirements and I'm like, shit, how many Negroes going to meet these requirements? It's almost like you got a scholarship fund for motherfuckers who you probably ain't gonna give it to anyway. What? Girl, first of all, why George Floyd have a scholarship fund? I don't know. The nigga ain't go to college. I'm I'm sorry. See, we be putting our we be putting our resources in a, a George Floyd scholarship fund. That, that nigga ain't go to nobody college, did he? Shouldn't you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. Anyways, the clears are having an the issue. They feel like it's, segregate, it's segregating and it's, it's racist. 
Exactly. I don't know why it's named after him anyway, either, Mimi. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand. I don't know. I don't know. But the clears, you know, it's the Twitter clears. No, it's the real clears. The clears are getting in their feelings, and they got to get out their feelings. Their ancestors are rolling over their grave. You know what I'm saying? You know, y'all, y'all, they got to stop now. Let niggas get a scholarship. Damn. Shit. That's the part right there. Yeah, I wouldn't want it either, Stace Face. I don't want no George Floyd scholarship, bitch. Hell no. Mm -mm. I just want my FAFSA. I just want my I just want my financial aid, bitch. I don't want that. Hell no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No ma'am. I passed. Just give me my own financial aid. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh girl. Um, let's get into Diddy Girl. So 50 is trolling doggone Stevie J again. He posted that fight I showed y'all with Diddy, with him losing to um What's that girl named Jocelyn? Losing that fight to Jocelyn. But it's coming out. 50 also posted. 50 also posted, y'all. Um, uh, 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 what's that girl name? 50 also posted Jocelyn in the past saying that calling Steve, saying Stevie J was gay. He posted that Jocelyn in the past accused him of being gay. Y'all, I believe Stevie J gay. I believe he gay, y'all. Because he still ain't denied it. He still ain't denied it, y'all. And 50 Cent still trolling him. Yeah, but they say Faye got them hands. Jo that, that's what they said. They said Jocelyn had said that. And remember Rolly Big Fat Funk and ass, the cheese ass, said it on the reunion? Remember he hosted that reunion? Y'all remember that? And um, him and Rolly, uh, he kept saying stuff to Rolly, and Rolly said, you shut the fuck up, because you be fucking with boys. You fuck boys. Y'all remember she said that? She said that. Rolly big ass days. That was that uh, reunion where she looked like Michael Myers when they took her wig off. She said it. She said, you shut the fuck up, because you be fucking boys. Wow. K. Michelle said it, too? Oh, Lord. Girl, Stevie J is a little about he a little power bottom. She did. I gotta go find that. I gotta go find that. Ooh, girl. Oh my god, this is a diff this is crazy. But I keep telling y'all, none of that surprised me in that industry. All them niggas. Mm -hmm. I told y'all. I told y'all. K. Michelle ain't said one lie. I was just about to say, I told y'all all them niggas gay. That's what I was about to say, but thank you. I told y'all. I told y'all. Girl. Girl, listen, them people will pay people to come out and say nothing. Somebody, yeah, somebody came out and said it was them in the video. Girl, if I'm already doing gay porn and somebody come to me and say, hey, I'll pay you to say this, you, I sure would get up there and be like, hell yeah, that was me. Nigga, how much you paying? I'm already doing gay porn. Fuck, everybody already know me on the scene. You motherfucking right. Hell yeah. I get up there and say I be doing gay porn. Oh, that was me, girl. That, I know y'all think that was Stevie J. That was me. Give me my money. Hell yeah. There's a door. There's a door. Lori told y'all about the door. I don't know which one he went in. Yeah, seven years. Oh, voiceovers by Stephanie. Celibate going on seven years? Oh my God. You might be an angel. You might you might be an angel or something, girl. I don't know how you did that. Oh Lord. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But I think that um, I think that it's true, y'all. I'm 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 erring on the side of this true, and then Diddy is out here telling everybody to pick a side. Diddy made a PSA. Yes, he did. Diddy got Diddy got on his 
own bag and said, either you with me or you against me. He said, and if you with me, you need to speak up and say something. He said, if you're not with me, I'm going to take your silence as complicity, complicity. Or how you have you say it? Complicit. He said, and then I'm just going to assume you're not with me. So when I'm back on top and when I'm woo woo de woo you won't be in on it. And I know who the fuck you is. Diddy, you ain't coming back from this, baby. Diddy, you not coming back. You, you not coming back from this. Ain't no coming back. Anybody who stick up for Diddy because he round up talking about pick a side, you be a fool. Now, Boosie was talking about all them people he helped. Was that Boosie? He talking about um, ain't nobody helping up for Diddy. Niggas just thought, you know, say a little one, two, you know, yin, yin, yin. But Diddy not coming back from here. He not. Yeah, the guy from No Limit who was telling us who who said they all be out there getting pumped in the butt, pumps in a bump, pumps in a bump. Yep, they all get pumps in a bump. Did he not coming back? He messed with the powers that be. He not coming back. He not coming back. He not coming back. So niggas could get scared because Diddy got in the camera acting like he was threatening people if he won't. You know what I'm saying? Talking about, oh, you, you either with me or would, would you, girl. Mm-hmm. You ain't coming back from this, Fat Fat. You're not coming back. It's over. You on your way downtown. Downtown. Thugging with your rounds. You're not coming back, baby. That don't go like that. That don't go like that. You know what I'm saying? Poor Diddy. Yup, Pimp C been trying to tell him. I think that's one of the reasons they got Pimp C out of here, too. I believe that's one of the reasons they got Pimp C out of here, too. Pimp C been trying to tell him. They ain't want here, do. They ain't want here, do. Girl. But, y'all, tonight, tonight we gonna be on Rumble, but I'm gonna come on YouTube for about an hour. Then tonight we going on Rumble to do uh start with the Jacksons. Y'all pull up on tonight. We're gonna get into some teams, okay? We're gonna get into some teams tonight on the Jacksons. Uh uh, I hope everybody pull up to Rumble. I'm gonna be on YouTube for about 45 minutes to an hour, then I'm gonna go ahead over to Rumble. But we could do our thing, we could listen to music, you know, we could do our we could really relax and let our hair down, you know, over there. So y'all pull up all uh, tonight for five o'clock at the normal time, maybe five thirty ish. Uh, you know, at the I'll put a reminder out. Pull up to the YouTube, and right after that, we going straight to Rumble. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we can have a good time. We can have a good time. Uh, what else I want to say? Uh, you guys, if you have not already liked the video, if you want to support the channel, please uh like the video. If you uh want to monetarily support the channel, channel, I'm not monetized, so please hit that cash app. Also. Uh, what else I want to say? If you're new to uh, Voodoo Doll TV, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, this is an extension of the Dollhouse, so welcome to the Dollhouse. I appreciate everybody who just coming in, who just knew that today, like the video. You may as well subscribe because you're gonna come back, girl. We gonna, you know what I'm saying? We gonna be back, and you're gonna be coming back, and we gonna, you know, you might as well subscribe so you get the notifications. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, uh, you guys, um, I'll let you know tonight when I go on YouTube. I'll let you know tonight what time we going on Rumble. But you guys, I'll see y'all tonight, five o'clock on YouTube or five thirty at the latest. Tonight, five o'clock on YouTube, five thirty at the latest, and then we gonna head to Rumble immediately following. I'll let y'all know on YouTube tonight. Ha like the videos, uh, you guys, if you can. Thank you to China Doll for the Cash App. I appreciate you, and you guys, I will see y'all uh, later on this evening. I appreciate all y'all, y'all, y'all homework today. I forgot. Y'all homework today, right, is going to be, <laughs> let me see, what's the homework today? What we talked about? Your homework today is going to be, what can I give y'all? 
I don't know. Yeah, if you like the video, that could be the homework shit. Like the video. Like the video, like the video. But no, seriously though, um the the homework today would be to I don't know, y'all. I don't really have nothing. Did they get Kim K? What you mean? Yeah, we'll do y'all that. Let's do that. Just love yourself. And meet me down there at the dollhouse at 5 o'clock. Uh, if you guys need the link to the Rumble, it's also on my community tab. Also, um, also the link is, uh, the, 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 it's on my community tab. And one of the mods have probably put it in here somewhere. Yeah, do something innovative. There go. There go. Thank you, Esther. The homework today is do something innovative. Not like Beyonce, though. Don't colonize. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyways, I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all later. Uh, let me go get this workout in, and then I'll see y'all later. Bye. Can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. <laughs> it's your boy, Big Chew, the voice of the beat. You know what I want? Blaze up. Come on, Blaze up. It's the beat for me. Wow, 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 w